Caillou and Leo were having lots of fun playing in the park together. Leo brought along his favorite green truck to show Caillou. Wow, Leo! Your truck is so cool! I'll bring my red one tomorrow and we can race! Okay, but mine will be the fastest. We'll see about that. Time to go now, Caillou. But I don't want to go yet. We're playing with Leo's truck. We'll be back tomorrow. You can finish your game then. Fine. See you tomorrow, Leo. Bye, Caillou. The next day, Caillou was very excited to play trucks with Leo at the park. He jumped out of bed and got ready as fast as he could. <gasps> Mommy! Caillou was covered in tiny red spots. He didn't know what they were, but they were very itchy. Mommy! Oh dear, it looks like you have chicken pox. Chicken pox? They're just little itchy spots, nothing to worry about. But you must remember not to scratch them or they'll get worse. I'll run you a nice bath and then you won't feel so itchy. While Mommy ran the bath, Caillou stood looking at himself in the mirror. He tried to count how many tiny red spots he had. Your bath is ready, Caillou. Caillou knew he shouldn't scratch, but he couldn't help it. Caillou, no scratching! But I'm so itchy, Mommy! If you don't scratch and you take lots of baths, your spots will disappear faster. Caillou didn't feel as itchy in the bath, and playing with Ducky helped him forget all about it. Quack! <laughs> Quack! How are you doing in there, Caillou? I think I'm ready to get out and go play with Leo now. I'm not itchy anymore. I'm sorry, you can't go out and play today, Caillou. You are sick. You need to stay home and rest. Caillou was very sad he wouldn't be able to go play trucks with Leo. After all, he didn't feel itchy anymore. You can't see Leo until your spots have cleared up. Otherwise, you'll make Leo sick too. Caillou didn't want to make Leo sick, so he listened to Mommy and went back to bed. Caillou was getting bored of waiting for his spots to go away. He found it very hard not to scratch. They were just so itchy. Caillou, are you scratching? I can't help it, Mommy. They're so itchy. I have some special cream that might help. Mommy, that tickles! <laughs> Once Mommy was done, she pulled out a sheet of stickers. What are those stickers for? It's a surprise. Mommy put the red dots on Caillou's dinosaur. My dinosaur has chicken pox too! Soon me and Dinosaur are going to feel much better. Then I can go play with Leo. The next morning, Caillou looked at himself in the mirror. His spots were finally <gasps> fading. Mommy, come see! That's great, Caillou. You're almost all better. Caillou showed Mommy that his dinosaur had fewer spots, too. Can me and Dinosaur go play outside now? I want to show Leo my truck. Not yet, Caillou. You'll have to wait until the chicken pox are completely gone. Aww. The next day, all Caillou's spots had disappeared. <gasps> he picked up his dinosaur and his truck and ran to tell everyone the good news. Mommy! Daddy! Look! Ta-da! I see you and your dinosaur spots are all gone. Yup. Can I go out and play now? Yes, Caillou. You can go after breakfast. Can you go wake Rosie for me? <gasps> Rosie, guess what? My spots have all gone, so we're going to the... <gasps> now poor Rosie's face was covered in spots. Chicken spots. Mommy, come quick! Caillou knew just what had happened to Rosie. <gasps> Look, Mommy, now Rosie has chicken pox. Don't worry, Rosie. I'll look after you. 
Don't you want to go to the park to play trucks with Leo? Not today. Dr. Caillou needs to look after Rosie. Here, if you take lots of baths and don't scratch, you lose all your spots, just like me and my dinosaur. Rosie knew she'd feel better in no time with Dr. Caillou looking after her. Caillou, Clementine, and Leo were getting ready for Sarah's birthday party. It was a superhero-themed party, and they were all very excited. What superpowers are you going to have, Caillou? I'm going to be super strong with my power belt and gloves. That's really cool. My special headband means I can see in the dark. What about you, Leo? I have new shoes which make me go super fast. Meow! But we all need capes to be real superheroes. And I'm going to wear this cool mask. Caillou and his friends all made great superheroes. They couldn't wait to show off their powers at the party. <laughs> Caillou, have you seen my handbag? Wow, don't you all look great! Are you superheroes all ready for Sarah's birthday? Yep, let's go! Hold on, Caillou. Don't you mean Super Caillou? <laughs> yes, sorry, Super Caillou. But first, we need to find my keys. I think they're in my handbag, but they've gone missing somewhere. This sounds like a great job for Caillou and his super friends. <laughs> what a great idea! The super friends began searching the house for Mommy's handbag. They didn't want to be late to the party, but there was no sign of it anywhere. Have you found any clues? Nothing over here, Super Caillou! <laughs> what was that? Was it a bird? Was it a plane? <laughs> no, it's Gilbert! Gilbert? Have you seen Mommy's handbag? Gilbert says it's that way. How do you know that? I can talk to animals, too. Let's go! Caillou opened the cupboard door. It was so dark, he couldn't see anything. I'll handle this with my night vision. Wow! Caillou and Leo were amazed by Clementine's superpowers. Caillou noticed something at the bottom of the cupboard. It was Mommy's handbag. There! Now we can go to the party! Wow! Good job, Super Friends! You found my bag! Yep! Caillou was very proud. Oh no, my car keys aren't in here. What? We're going to be late! A clue! I know exactly where we should look. Rosie has the keys. We need to get them back. Don't worry, Super Caillou. I'll distract Rosie using my super speed. Leo used his super speed to make Rosie chase him away. <laughs> she thought he was playing a silly game. You found them! Great job, Super Caillou! It wasn't just me! It was my super friends as well! Caillou loved saving the day with his friends. He couldn't wait to solve another mystery. It was a bright sunny day, and Caillou was playing in his backyard. Giddy up, horsey! <laughs> Caillou heard someone laughing in the yard next door. There was a little girl he didn't know. Hi, my name is Caillou. Do you want to play with me? Hola, my name is Isabel. 
See, Caillou. Isabel used strange words. Caillou didn't understand everything she said. My mommy got me some new marbles. Que? Caillou sat down and rolled his marbles out across the grass. You can be the red marbles and I will be the blue ones. Rojo. Caillou hadn't heard that word before. He liked how it sounded. Rojo? <laughs> when the game was over, Isabel pulled a small white toy bunny from her pocket. Caillou was very curious. Wow! Do you want to be my friend? Isabel smiled and nodded to Caillou. She touched his cheek with Bunny. See, si, but first you have to save me from that scary dragon. Dragon? <laughs> That's Gilbert! No, it's the scary dragon and the treasure. You'll need a sword like mine. Caillou was excited. He knew that together they could defeat any dragon. Charge! Caillou, what are you doing? Me and Princess Isabel are fighting the dragon! Oh, you have so much imagination, Caillou. Isabel. She lives in the red castle next door. Well, it's nice to meet you, Isabel. Now come on, Caillou. It's time for dinner, and I think Gilbert needs a rest. At dinner, Caillou told everyone about his adventure with Princess Isabel. And then the dragon roared! Roar! Roar! Caillou, please don't talk with your mouth full. Isabel had a funny word for the marbles. Rojo! <laughs> no, Caillou. Rojo means red in Spanish. She was telling you what the color of the marble was. Why does she speak Spanish? Because Isabel is from Spain. I met her parents today. They're going back home to Spain tomorrow. Spain? Where is that? Well, this is where we are. And this is where Isabel lives. But that's really far away. I don't want her to go. Caillou was very upset. He didn't want to lose his new friend. Don't worry, Caillou. Just because Isabel is going back to Spain doesn't mean you two can't stay friends. Why don't you give her something to remember you by? That gave Caillou an idea. The next day it was time for Caillou to say goodbye to Isabel. I got you a present, Isabel, so you don't forget me. Rojo! Uh, gracias, Caillou. Bunny will help you beat the dragon. Wow! Adios, Caillou. Adios, Isabel! A few days later, Caillou was finishing off his adventure. But it wasn't as fun without Isabel. I have a special surprise for you on the computer. Caillou was very excited, so he rushed to the computer. But when he got there, the screen was blank. He was very confused. Hola, Caillou! Isabel! Isabel held up the red marble Caillou had given her, and Caillou held up the white bunny she had given to him. He was very happy to see his friend again. Caillou at the market. Good morning, Sleepy. But Caillou does not want to get out of bed. Look, it's snowing. Caillou runs to look out the window. Wow! Can we make a snowman? Let's get dressed first, then we'll see. Q. 
Caillou tries to pour his cereal, but nothing comes out. There's no cereal. We'll get some at the market. We have to shop for things to make a special surprise oh. cake. A cake? Yay! Caillou puts on his coat and boots. He picks up Gilbert to see if he'd like to come to the market as well. Gilbert, where are you going? <laughs> Silly cat. <laughs> Outside, the snowflakes tickle his face. He sticks out his tongue and catches some of them. Can we make a snowman? Yes, Caillou. But we have to go to the market first. When they get to the market, Mommy puts Rosie in the seat of the grocery cart. I want to ride in the cart too, Mommy. Let's go. We have lots of shopping to do. Caillou and Rosie help Mommy find the things she needs. Caillou takes a bag of cookies <gasps> off the shelf. These are good. We're having special surprise cake, so we don't need cookies, too. Aww. Caillou really wants the cookies, but he puts them back. At the checkout counter, Mommy helps Caillou and Rosie get out of the cart. Caillou, please help watch Rosie for me. Caillou holds Rosie's hand. But he's thinking about the cookies. Ooh. He lets go of Rosie's hand to go and find the cookies. Caillou goes up and down the aisles looking for the cookies. Suddenly, he stops and looks around. He can't see Mommy. Mommy, where are you? Mommy! <laughs> there she is. Mommy looks worried. What happened, Caillou? You went away. No, you went away. She gives him a big hug. I'm very glad we found you. Now let's go home. I know, Caillou, but you're home now. And it's time to make the special surprise cake. But I want to make a snowman. We will make a snowman here in the kitchen. Mommy bakes a cake and covers it in snowy white icing. Hmm. Caillou and Rosie decorated with candy. The special surprise cake is a special surprise snowman. Caillou and Rosie are playing with Rosie's new toy. They are having lots of fun. Lots of noisy fun. Every time Rosie pushes a key, the toy makes an animal sound. Stop what they are doing. Caillou, I need to lie down. 
Can you be a good big brother and watch Rosie so she doesn't get into any mischief? Yes, Mommy. Mommy brings a couple of markers and two big pieces of paper. You and Rosie can draw pictures of the animals instead of listening to the sounds they make. I need you to play quietly so I can rest. Okay. Caillou wants to help Mommy. He wants to be a good big brother. Caillou hands Rosie a marker. We're going to draw now. Caillou starts drawing a giraffe. He works so hard on his picture that he doesn't notice that Rosie is not drawing beside him. Caillou looks around to see where Rosie went. Oh no! Rosie is drawing on the wall! Rosie, no! Caillou grabs the marker away from Rosie. Rosie tries to get the marker back, but Caillou holds on to it. Rosie starts to cry. Be quiet! Do you want Mommy to get mad? Mommy hears all the noise. Caillou, I asked you to be a good big brother and watch Rosie, not fight with her. Rosie needs her nap. I'll be right back. Caillou is surprised. Why is Mommy angry with him? He did his best to be quiet and to keep Rosie from doing anything wrong. He doesn't want to be Rosie's big brother anymore. <laughs> when Mommy comes back, Caillou is crying. <laughs> Caillou and Mommy go to the kitchen and fill a bucket with soap and water. It isn't easy being a big brother, is it? Can I help? That would be great, Caillou. Caillou cleans the wall with a wet cloth. He rubs hard until all the marks are gone. Good job, Caillou. Thank you. Rosie has finished her nap and she wants Caillou to play with her. Okay, Rosie. Becoming such a big boy, and you are such a good brother to Rosie. Today, Caillou is going to the dentist for the first time. Let's hurry, Caillou. We don't want to be late. Caillou doesn't answer. Where has he gone? Mommy finds Caillou in the bathroom. Caillou, you've already brushed your teeth this morning. Do they look nice, Mommy? <laughs> yes, Caillou, they're beautiful. Now come on, time to go. At the dentist's office, Caillou and Mommy sit in the waiting room. Caillou holds Teddy very tight. Just then, he hears a strange whirring noise. Teddy, you're coming with me to see the dentist, okay? A woman with a friendly smile walks toward Caillou. Hello, Caillou. My name is Linda. Come with me and I'll show you and your Teddy the best way to brush your teeth. Caillou and Mommy follow Linda into a small room. There's a big chair in the middle with a big funny-looking lamp hanging over it. Have a seat, Caillou. Can Teddy sit too? <laughs> of course. Caillou and Teddy sit in the dentist's chair. 
Linda shows Caillou how the chair can move up and down. <laughs> <laughs> Linda tilts the back of the chair so that Caillou can lie down. But Caillou stays sitting straight up. Lie back, Caillou. That way, I can get a better look at your teeth. Linda shows Caillou the little mirror that's used to see the teeth in the back of his mouth. She starts the electric toothbrush that turns very fast. That's what was making that strange noise. Now I'm going to make your teeth shine like little stars. Okay. Caillou checks first to see if Mommy is still there. Yes, Mommy is right behind him. Linda brushes Caillou's teeth. Then the dentist comes into the room to give Caillou his checkup. Hi, Caillou. I'm Dr. Joseph. Wow, you have really nice teeth. Do you brush them every day? Two times this morning. <laughs> when Caillou is ready to leave, Linda gives him a new toothbrush to take home. And you can have two surprises from the box. Two? Caillou examines the items in the box. He chooses a magnifying glass and a ring. The magnifying glass is for me, and the ring is for my mommy. Goodbye, Caillou. Bye. It's been a big day for Caillou. Today, he went to the dentist for the first time. Caillou and Rosie were in the bedroom playing. They were drawing some pictures. Tree! Yes, that is a tree, Rosie. But trees aren't blue, they're green. Caillou had an idea. He was going to teach Rosie all about colors. Let's draw a picture together. Hmm, I wonder what we could draw. Grandma! Hello, Caillou and Rosie. What are you two doing? Me and Rosie are going to draw a picture together, but we're not sure what to draw. Hmm. What if you have a look out the window? You might find some inspiration. Caillou rushed over to the window. There were so many things. He didn't know where to start. Uh, I don't know what to draw, Grandma. Here's an idea. Why don't you draw everything you see right now? Ice cream! <laughs> yes, and perhaps the ice cream truck, too. Caillou thought that was a great idea. He could draw everything he saw out of the window. Thank you, Grandma! Okay, Rosie, now copy me. Red, red. Green, green. Blue, blue. White, white. That's right! Rosie was so excited. Green! Yeah, just like my dinosaur! That's right, Rosie!
Daisy looked very puzzled. There must have been something brown in the room. Can you see anything brown in my room, Rosie? <sighs> you can do it, Rosie. Keep looking. Teddy! Yay! Rosie, you did it! Now that Rosie knew all of the colors, it was time to draw the picture. Now let's draw together. Are you ready? Red, yeah! Blue? No, Rosie, the sky is blue, but the trees are green. Bus, yes, that's a yellow bus. Caillou and Rosie had finished their drawing. Caillou really enjoyed teaching Rosie all about colors. Let's go show Grandma! Grandma, look! Wow! Did you and Rosie draw this together? Yes! I taught Rosie all the colors! <laughs> well, I think my little artists might want to get some ice cream. Ice cream! Yay! Caillou couldn't wait for the ice cream. He was so excited about all the different colors he could choose. After all, he was an artist. Caillou and Daddy were playing with Caillou's favorite train set. Daddy? Yes, Caillou? Is it true some trains go underground? Yes, that's true. It's a special kind of train called a subway. Caillou was a little surprised. The subway must be really dark if it's underground. I'd love to ride the subway one day. That gave Daddy an idea. The next day, Daddy decided to take Caillou on a special expedition. Are we really going on a subway train? Yes, Caillou. We'll be two explorers. Caillou put on his special blue hat and backpack. I can't wait to be an explorer. What's in your backpack? Explorer stuff. Caillou and his daddy went into the subway station. A gust of wind blew daddy's hat off. <laughs> Oops! A good explorer should always hold on to his hat during a tornado. Hmm. Caillou wondered where all that wind was coming from. Daddy bought two tickets for the subway. Push hard, Caillou. Caillou pushed hard, and he got through. Well done, Caillou. You've passed the first obstacle on our expedition. Caillou and Daddy went to the escalator. We're going underground now. Are you ready? Caillou looked at the big hole leading underground. He really wasn't sure if he still wanted to be an explorer. I'm scared, Daddy. Don't worry, Caillou. There's nothing to be scared of. Down the escalator they went. Caillou held his daddy's hand very tightly. And here we are. But it's not dark at all. There were so many people, and there was even a man playing a guitar. Daddy looked at a huge map on the wall, full of colored lines. Then Caillou heard a noise, getting louder and louder and louder. What's that? You'll see. Lights appeared from the dark tunnel. 
It's the train! The subway train arrived with a big gust of wind, and the doors opened all by themselves. Hurry, Caillou. We have to get on before the doors close. Caillou was very impressed. Are they magic doors? Caillou looked around the busy train. We have to stand? Hold on tight, Caillou. The train took off and picked up speed. Caillou was holding the pole really tightly. He loved his ride on the subway. It's like a merry-go-round! Caillou Whee! watched as the lights whizzed by in the tunnel. We're almost there. Caillou was sad that the ride would be over soon. Caillou and Daddy walked around the park. They stopped on a park bench nearby to have a snack. It's much quieter here than on the subway. Caillou took two cookies from his backpack. One for you and one for me. Here an explorer that thinks of everything. I brought my flashlight and my teddy too. The explorers went back to the subway station. Watch out for the tornado! Caillou went into the station holding his hat, pushed his way through the turnstile without getting stuck, and rode down the escalator into the ground without being scared at all. Once he was on the subway, Caillou, the great explorer, fell asleep on his daddy's lap. Today was Caillou's birthday. Mommy and Daddy decorated the house. The balloons looked so colorful. Caillou was so excited he couldn't wait. He was putting on his favorite shirt. His friends were coming to celebrate with him and his family. Ta-da! What's wrong, Caillou? When will Leo and Clementine be here? I don't want them to miss the party. Don't worry. They'll be here soon, Caillou. Caillou and his family were in the living room. Caillou decided he wanted to open Grandma's present first. He had told everyone that he wanted a dinosaur for his birthday. He opened the big box, hoping Grandma's gift would be the dinosaur he wanted, but instead, she had knitted him a sweater. A sweater? Caillou, I told you the presents are for later. <laughs> what do you say? Thank you, Grandma. You're welcome, Caillou. Suddenly, the doorbell rang and Caillou ran to open it. Who could it be? Clementine! Leo! Caillou was so happy that his friends had finally arrived. Happy, happy birthday, birthday, Caillou! Everyone was having so much fun at the party. Clementine and Leo were dancing, but Caillou was more interested in the gifts that they had brought for him. Can we open presents now, Mommy? No, Caillou. It's time to play some games. Everyone had lots of fun playing different party games. Leo is great at pinning the tail on the donkey. Clementine had the winning hit on the pinata. Rosie won past the parcel. Caillou was having fun with his friends, but felt sad he hadn't gotten to open the rest of his presents yet. Who wants their face painted? Daddy looked silly with a tiger painted on his face. Me, Daddy! I know exactly what I want to be! Stay still just a little longer, Caillou. I'm almost done. <laughs> it tickles, Daddy. Caillou giggled at the tickly feeling of the brush on his cheeks. He was very curious to see how it was going to look. All done. Caillou went to the mirror to see. He was very impressed. <laughs> he looked just like Gilbert. Thanks, Daddy. <laughs> look, Gilbert. Now I'm a cat, too! Meow! Everyone was in the kitchen enjoying all of the delicious treats on the table, but there was something missing. Is everything okay, Caillou? When is my cake coming, Daddy? I want to blow out my candles. Why don't you ask Mommy? 
Mommy walked through the door with Caillou's birthday cake. It was the most colorful cake Caillou had ever seen. Rainbow! Happy birthday, Caillou! Caillou couldn't wait to blow out his candles. Don't forget to make a wish. Caillou knew exactly what to wish for. A new dinosaur. He took a deep breath and blew out the candles with all his might. Everyone was enjoying Caillou's special rainbow cake. Are you ready to open your present for me and Daddy, Caillou? Yay! Caillou unwrapped the box as fast as he could. Wow! My dinosaur! Thank you, Mommy and Daddy. Rosie! Oh no! Look what you've done! It's okay, Caillou. Rosie didn't do it on purpose. You can just put on your new sweater. Grandma held up Caillou's new sweater, and it had an amazing dinosaur on the front. My new sweater is so cool! It looks just like my toy! Thank you, Grandma! Caillou thought this was the best birthday ever. It was a cold, rainy day, and Caillou was playing in his room. Blast off! But Caillou really wanted to go outside. What's wrong, Caillou? I wish the rain would stop so I could go outside and play Space Ranger. Well, why don't you play Space Rangers here in the house? But I don't have a spaceship. You and Rosie could make one out of this old cardboard box. Caillou thought for a moment. He wasn't sure he'd be able to make a spaceship out of a boring old box. I'll go and get some things for you to decorate it with. Caillou couldn't decide whether to make a rocket, a spaceship, or a flying saucer. Rocket! I think you are right, Rosie. Let's make a rocket! Caillou and Rosie splatted paint, stuck down colored paper, and made the old box into the best rocket they had ever seen. You can't go into space without special helmets. Thanks, Mommy! Now we look like real Space Rangers! As soon as the paint was dry, it was time to blast off. It's time to go now, Rosie. We have 10 seconds until liftoff. We need to get into the rocket. 10! Wow! 9! Buckle in, Rosie. It's gonna be a bumpy ride. 8! All systems are go! Seven! Blast off! Rosie! We weren't ready! Ah! Whee! Soon, they were on a strange alien planet. Suddenly, Caillou spotted something moving behind a nearby rock. Hello? Who's there? Caillou thought the alien looked familiar, but he couldn't work out who. Hello! I'm Space Ranger Caillou, and this is Rosie. Kitty! No, Rosie. That's an alien! Suddenly, the alien jumped forward towards them and grabbed Teddy from Space Ranger Caillou. Teddy! Uh-oh. We have to get him back, Rosie. Come on! Caillou and Rosie ran as fast as they could, but they couldn't catch the alien. Get back here with Teddy! Teddy, come back! I 
have a plan. We have to get him onto the ship. Rosie! Teddy! The alien ran onto the ship, scared of the heroic space ranger. Caillou's plan had worked. Caillou tried to pull Teddy from the alien's grip, but he held on tight. Give Teddy back! I did it! What are you two doing? I thought you'd be outside now that the rain has stopped. We've been on a space adventure, Daddy. Caillou and Rosie had so much fun on their space adventure, they jumped straight back into their ship and blasted off again. Caillou, Clementine, and Leo were at play school. Miss Martin was teaching them all about fire safety. Who knows what a smoke detector is? A smoke detector tells us if there's any smoke in the air. And why is this important? Because if there is smoke, it means there is a fire. That's right, Clementine. Do any of you know where the smoke detector in this room is? Is that it? Not quite, Caillou. That's the fire alarm. If there is a fire, it'll ring loudly and let us all know. Is that it up there? That's right. The smoke detector is the round box on the ceiling with the flashing light. When there is a fire, smoke rises up to the ceiling, all the way up to the blinking box. Then we have to call the firefighters. I'd like to be a firefighter when I grow up. Well, you can tell that to the firefighters when we get to the fire station this afternoon. Oh, <laughs> yeah. When Caillou and his friends arrived at the fire station, they all ran straight to the big fire trucks. Hey there, kids. It's great to have you all here visiting the fire station. Can we have a ride on the fire truck? <laughs> we can later, but there's a lot to learn about fire safety first. Let's head into the station, and you can meet my pal Sparky. He's a firefighter, too. Caillou looked around the station. He saw a big pair of boots, a long coat, and best of all, a shiny red hat. Wow, looks like we've got a real firefighter right here. What do you think, Sparky? Can he join the team? <laughs> As you've already seen, here are all our uniforms, which are very special. Fire is so hot, when we wear these, we're extra protected from getting burnt. Here's the pole we slide down in an emergency to get to the fire truck as quick as we can. If we took the stairs, we could trip from all the rushing we have to do. Can we slide down the pole? Well, you sure can. Let's meet the rest of the team first. Coming down! How do you know when there is a fire? Good question, young man. That's what this big computer here is for. The 911 call tells us where the fire is, and the computer tells us how to get there as fast as possible. Caillou and his friends liked learning about fire safety, but Caillou was more excited about having a ride on the fire truck. Is it time to have a ride on the fire truck yet? As long as Firefighter Steve says it's okay. Well, if you're going to be a firefighter, you're going to need to learn how to drive the truck. Everyone was excited to watch Firefighter Steve show off what the fire truck could do, especially Caillou and Leo. First, he showed them the hose for putting out fires. Caillou thought it was much stronger than the hose Daddy used to water the flowers. Then, the other fire officer stood on top of the ladder as it got longer and longer. Caillou watched it go up and down. 
Fireman Steve saved the best to last. Now, firefighter in training, I'm going to need you to flick the siren switch. What does the siren do? Press the button and find out. Caillou didn't expect that at all. It was a loud noise that would tell everyone that the fire truck was coming. Caillou had a fantastic day at the station. He couldn't wait to be a real firefighter someday. Today, Caillou and his mommy were going to do some gardening. What are you looking at, Caillou? There's a caterpillar. It's eating a lot of that big leaf, mommy. And it's only a tiny caterpillar. Well, it's a tiny caterpillar now, but soon it will be a big, strong butterfly. First, it needs to eat as much as it can. Caillou looked closely at the caterpillar, but it was so tiny, he didn't understand how it could possibly turn into a butterfly. What are you doing, Caillou? Caillou's friend Sarah was peeking at him through a gap in the garden fence. I'm trying to look at this tiny caterpillar, but it's too small. We can use my magnifying glass. What's that? A magnifying glass is something you use to make something small look big. Caillou looked through the magnifying <laughs> glass and laughed. It made Sarah's face look much bigger. <laughs> Caillou liked seeing the caterpillar through the magnifying glass. He could see all its tiny legs moving. I have an idea. Let's play Jungle Explorer. Caillou thought this was a great idea. He got down on his hands and knees and started exploring. Caillou looked at the huge butterfly. It was so colorful. It's as big as a bird. It must have eaten lots and lots of leaves. Caillou wanted to keep looking at the butterfly, but it flew away. Come back here, butterfly. The jungle is much thicker there. You can't get through it, Caillou. If I can't get through it, I'll go under it. Caillou bent down as low as he could and crawled deeper into the garden. Caillou saw the butterfly again in the distance. It was on top of a ferocious lion who was sleeping soundly. I have to be careful not to wake up the sleeping lion. Oh no! The lion woke up with a roar and scared away the butterfly, which flew off deeper into the jungle. The loud rumbling in the sky startled Caillou, and it startled the butterfly, too. What was that? Caillou was very frightened and ran back out of the jungle as fast as he could. Sarah! Sarah! Mommy! Sarah! Did you hear that loud noise? Don't worry, Caillou. It was just thunder. That means it's going to rain soon. But it scared away my butterfly! That's okay, Caillou. Look, the caterpillar from this morning has made a cocoon. Mommy showed Caillou a jar with a cocoon inside. Caillou used the magnifying glass to see it up close. What's a cocoon, Mommy? When a caterpillar makes a cocoon, it means it's turning into a butterfly. Wow! Soon I'll have a butterfly of my very own! Wow, Caillou, that's so cool! Caillou had lots of fun exploring the jungle and looking for butterflies. He couldn't wait for the cocoon to hatch so he could play again. 
Caillou and his family were enjoying a spaghetti dinner. Yum! Spaghetti is my favorite! That's good, Caillou. Please try not to slurp when you eat. It was very hard to eat the spaghetti without slurping. While Caillou was trying not to slurp, he made a strange noise. Uh-oh. Sounds like you've got the hiccups. The hiccups? How do I stop them? Hiccups usually go away on their own. Caillou waited a moment to see if his hiccups disappeared. Hey, I waited, but they didn't go away. You have to wait longer than that. Why not play in the living room? Caillou built a tower of blocks while he waited for his hiccups to go away. But one was so big it made him knock over his tower. How's it going out here? These hiccups are messing up everything! I need them to go away! Sometimes hiccups can be cured by giving someone a scare. A scare? Just a little scare. It makes the person gasp and the hiccups go away. Do you want to give it a try? Caillou thought about this for a moment. He didn't like to be scared, but he didn't like having hiccups even more. If it'll make the hiccups go away, then okay. <gasps> Mommy spread her arms out and floated like a ghost and then jumped at Caillou. Boo! My hiccups are the kind that get scared away. Good thing I'm here then. I'm the world's number one all-time hiccup cure champion. Come on, I'll show you. Some people cure hiccups by drinking water really fast from a hose. It can get a little messy. I don't care. I will try anything. Daddy turns on the water. Caillou tried to drink from the hose, but most of it sprayed all around. It's not working! Don't worry, Caillou. I've got another cure up my sleeve. The upside-down solution always works. Daddy made Caillou do a handstand so he was upside down. Daddy held Caillou's feet for balance. Hiccups all gone? There's one more thing we can try. Let's go back inside. Everyone gathered in the playroom to find out Daddy's final cure. I've saved the best for last. This is sure to get rid of your hiccups. What is it? You hop from your left foot and rub your head with your right hand, like this. Caillou thought Daddy looked silly hopping around, and so did Mommy and Rosie. <laughs> <laughs> Caillou really wanted to get rid of his hiccups, so he started hopping too. That's it, Caillou. Hop those hiccups away. Hop, Caillou. Hop. I'm still hiccuping. What if I have them forever? <gasps> and ever and ever. Maybe I'll have to stop making spaghetti dinners. <gasps> but spaghetti's my favorite. And Rosie's! And Daddy's, too! It wasn't the spaghetti that gave me the hiccups. I know it wasn't. And I think they're gone. Listen! Caillou was right. His hiccups had gone away. Perhaps I scared them away by saying I wouldn't make spaghetti anymore. No, I think they went away on their own, just like you said they would. But... Are you really going to stop making spaghetti? Of course not, Caillou. I was just teasing. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy was in the living room making holiday cards to send out to all her friends. Mommy, what are you doing? I'm making some holiday cards to get into the holiday spirit. 
Caillou saw lots of colorful paper, pens, and glitter on the table. Can I make some holiday cards too? That's a great idea, Caillou. Who are you going to make your cards for? Hmm, Leo, Clementine, and <laughs> Secret. <laughs> Mommy put a few cards, crayons, and glitter in a basket for Caillou. He was so excited. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Caillou wanted to make some special holiday cards for his friends. He added lots of glitter to his cards. What are you up to, Caillou? I'm making holiday cards for all my friends. What a great idea! Can I see? Caillou was so proud of the cards that he'd made, he showed Daddy the drawings he had done for Leo and Clementine. I just need to add some more glitter and they will be all done. That'll make them even more festive, as the glitter will glisten just like snow. If you leave the glue to dry now, you can give them their cards tomorrow on your play date. Caillou was excited to give his cards to his friends, so he left them by the window to dry. The next morning, Caillou ran to the kitchen with his bag packed, ready to see his friends and spread the holiday cheer. Caillou, it's time to eat your breakfast. Where are you off to, Caillou? Daddy is taking me to Leo's house so I can play with him and Clementine. Did you finish your holiday cards? Yes! Here they are! Wow! Sparkles! That's nice, Caillou. But it looks like you have more than two there. Caillou giggled. He had made some more holiday cards for three extra special people. Let's go, Caillou. You don't want to be late to meet your friends. Caillou was having a great time with Leo and Clementine playing trucks. <laughs> What are your presents going to be, Caillou? I really want a scooter and... and a new soccer ball. What do you want? I think my mommy is getting me a new fire truck. Oh, oh, I'm asking for a new scooter too, Caillou. If we both get them, we can race. Well, mine is gonna be the fastest. Caillou remembered he had a special surprise for Leo and Clementine. Wait here. I've got something for you. What's that, Caillou? Happy Holidays! Thanks, Caillou. I love holiday cards. Thank you, Caillou. Wow, did you make these? Clementine and Leo noticed Caillou had more cards in his hand. Have you given all your cards out yet? Not all of them. A few more left. Who are they for? Caillou had a special holiday surprise for his family. What do you have there, Caillou? Happy Holidays! What a lovely surprise! Caillou had made some holiday cards for Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie. Snowman! Wow, so this is what the extra cards were for. I can't believe you made these all by yourself. Caillou was really getting into the holiday spirit, and he couldn't wait to spend it with his family. Caillou hurries to put on his fancy clothes. Tonight, he's going out with Mommy and Daddy like a big boy. Rosie is staying home with the babysitter. The restaurant is full of people. Caillou holds his daddy's hand and looks around. It's a bit dark in here. Caillou doesn't see any children. He feels so proud to be with grown-ups. Look at the aquarium, Caillou. Caillou runs off to say hello to the multicolored fish. Whoa. 
Don't run, Caillou. Wait for us, please. Mommy, I can't see anything. Caillou decides to sit on his knees. Caillou, please sit down like a big boy. Just in time, a friendly waiter comes toward the table with a booster seat for Caillou to sit on. What would you like to eat, Caillou? Let me look, Mommy. Caillou wants to act like a grown-up and opens the menu, too. There are no pictures on his menu, and Caillou is very disappointed. Caillou waits patiently while Mommy orders his favorite spaghetti. <laughs> it's taking so long for the food to come. Caillou gets tired of waiting and wants to get up and move around. Where are you going? Caillou doesn't want to sit anymore. Do you want to go to the bathroom? Okay. Caillou finds a new game. He's having fun drying his hands under the automatic dryer. Again! Caillou runs back to the sink to wash his hands again. Okay, but this is the last time. The waiter comes to the table with all the plates balanced in his arms. Caillou is very impressed. Wow! Mommy and Daddy never do that! Caillou takes a bite of his food and makes a face. It doesn't taste like this at home. Caillou, at least eat some of your dinner, please. Yeah! Caillou isn't hungry anymore. He wants to play under the table. Where is my Caillou? Caillou jumps out from under the table. I'm here! Caillou, you're supposed to stay in your seat. I don't want to sit anymore. I want to go home. Just then, the waiter comes to the table with a wonderful dessert. Caillou completely forgets about wanting to go home. Yay! I'm hungry! <laughs> Caillou is happy to be eating at the restaurant with Mommy and Daddy. He really feels like a big boy. Caillou was playing in the park with Leo. They were having so much fun kicking the ball together. Great shot, Leo! Yay! It suddenly started to rain. But Caillou and Leo loved the rain. They began jumping in the puddles. Mommy, look! <laughs> That's some impressive jumping, kids. Mommy saw how messy Caillou had gotten. But you're covered in mud from all the splashing in the puddles. It's time to go home and take a bath. But I want to play some more. You can play in the bathtub, Caillou. Now say goodbye to Leo. Bye, Leo. See you soon. See you later. Caillou wasn't very happy. He wanted to play soccer with Leo. What's wrong, Caillou? I don't want to take a bath. But you've been playing in the mud. It's important to stay clean. But baths are no fun. They're so boring. Well, this one won't be boring. I'll be sure to add lots of bubbles to your bath. And you can play with Ducky, too. Caillou started to feel better. Maybe taking a bath wouldn't be so boring after all. Mommy turned the water on in the tub. She put in some bubble bath. It smelled sweet. 
like apples. Look at all those bubbles, Mommy! <laughs> Are you ready to get into the bath now? Yes! Caillou wanted to play in the bathtub. He grabbed his tugboat and his ducky. When Caillou was in the bath, he loved playing with all the bubbles around him. Caillou was enjoying his bath time. He loved splashing in the water and blowing the bubbles. What are you going to play in the bath? I'm going to play captain of the sea. Ducky is the captain and this is his boat. Where is Captain Ducky off to then, Caillou? He's going on an adventure, but some of these bubbles are going to be a bit tricky to get through. <laughs> Caillou piled bubbles on Ducky's head and put it on the tugboat. He leaned back to let the bubbles cover his shoulders. Right, let's get cleaned up now. Mommy carefully cleaned Caillou's face and ears. Caillou thought it tickled. <laughs> Do you want to wash your hands and feet? Mommy gently washed Caillou's feet using his soccer ball sponge. <laughs> Mommy poured water all over Caillou's back. He loved how warm the water felt. When Caillou was all clean, he got out of the tub. Mommy dried him with a big, soft towel. You smell nice and clean now, Caillou. Caillou smiled and hugged Mommy. Mommy helped Caillou put on his pajamas. Time for bed now, Caillou. Mommy, can you read me a bedtime story? Of course I can. Caillou chose his big book about animals. Look, Caillou, a duck. It's just like the one you had with you in the bath. Captain Duck! <laughs> yes, Captain Duck. Caillou couldn't wait to play in the mud again so he could take another lovely warm bath. Caillou was at the supermarket with Mommy. Mommy, can you carry me, please? Caillou, you're a big boy. You can walk by yourself. But I don't feel very well. Caillou started to cry. <laughs> he wasn't feeling very well. Ooh, your forehead is very hot. You might have a fever. Caillou snuggled up to his mommy. Hmm, come on, let's go home and check your temperature. Caillou was not feeling very well. He had the flu. How do you feel, Caillou? <coughs> My throat hurts. I think we may need to go visit the doctor. No, I don't want to go to the doctor, Mommy. It's always best to visit the doctor when you're ill. They'll make you feel better in no time. Hello there, Caillou. Caillou wanted to stay near Mommy. He was still a little bit scared. So, a little birdie told me you're not feeling so good. Well, I can change that. But first, I need your help. You can use my stethoscope to listen to your mommy's heartbeat. Caillou had never used a stethoscope. He was amazed. He could hear mommy's heartbeat. Wow! Very cool, right? Would you like to listen to your own heartbeat? Caillou could hear his own heart. He was really amazed. Now, can I listen? Dr. Rose used the stethoscope to listen to Caillou's heart and lungs. Caillou, I want to look inside your ears now. I'm going to shine this light inside your ear to make sure everything is okay. Are you ready? Don't worry, Caillou. It won't hurt. You can hold my hand if you like. Caillou held Mommy's hand whilst Dr. Rose looked in his ear. Now I want to look at your throat to see if it's red. I need you to open your mouth like this. Ah. Uh... Dr. Rose opened her mouth wide, but Caillou was still a bit worried. Now it's your turn. Caillou opened his mouth wide and stuck his tongue out. Ah. Uh... Oh dear, it looks like you have a bad cold, Caillou. 
Caillou cuddled up to Mommy. He didn't like having a cold. Your Mommy has done a good job taking care of you. Now you need to rest some more and take this medicine. You'll get better in no time. The next day, Caillou was starting to feel a bit better. Mommy brought Caillou a glass of water. But I'm not thirsty. It's important to drink lots of water when you're sick. Are you feeling a bit better now? Let's check your temperature. Oh, Mommy! Caillou, you have to sit still, dear. Caillou couldn't sit still. He wanted to play with his toys. Looks like you're getting a lot better. Caillou wanted to play doctor with his teddy. He pretended to check Teddy's temperature. How is Teddy feeling, Caillou? He's a bit ill, Mommy. I'm going to have to stay here and make sure he gets better. Good idea, Caillou. That's very kind of you. Caillou loved playing doctor with his teddy. He was happy to stay home and make sure Teddy got better. Catch the car, Teddy! Caillou has made up a new game. He's rolling his toy cars down a ramp made out of a long board. <laughs> Rosie walks into the room pulling her toy ducky on a string. Can I play? Okay. He turns to his little sister and sees that she is wearing a t-shirt with teddy bears on it. No! That's my t-shirt! Take it off! It's mine! <laughs> Caillou is very upset. <laughs> Mommy comes when she hears the shouting. She tries to explain why Rosie is wearing Caillou's favorite t-shirt. Caillou, that t-shirt is too small for you, so I gave it to Rosie. Caillou is so angry, he is not listening to Mommy. It's not Rosie's, it's mine! Okay, okay. Rosie, let's go put on a different t-shirt. Caillou puts on his teddy bear t-shirt, but it's not easy. He has to wriggle and squirm like a caterpillar. Uh, ow! <laughs> <laughs> See, it's not too small. Caillou marches around the room with his bare tummy showing. Rosie thinks <laughs> Caillou looks very funny. Maybe he's playing a new game. She runs up to her brother and tickles his tummy. Caillou knows that the t-shirt used to cover his tummy when he wore it. Caillou stretches out to play with his cars, but his back gets cold and the carpet makes him feel itchy. Caillou goes to his room. He doesn't want to play with the cars anymore. He is too sad to do anything but sit with Teddy. Why did the t-shirt have to get too small? Mommy comes in and sits down beside Caillou. She has a photo album that she opens. Here's a picture of you on your birthday. You look so cute and happy in your teddy bear t-shirt. Caillou looks at the picture and nods. That's when I was little. I had my teddy shirt. Mommy understands why Caillou feels sad. Caillou, I'm sorry I gave your t-shirt to Rosie. I forgot how much you loved it, but now it's yours again. Even if you don't wear it, you can keep it as long as you want. Caillou still loves the t-shirt. It's so soft and cozy, but he knows he has grown too big to wear it. Caillou looks down at Teddy. Suddenly, he knows what to do. I'm going to give it to Teddy! 
good idea, Caillou. <laughs> Caillou and Mommy both smile as Caillou takes off his favorite t-shirt and puts it on his teddy bear. Rosie comes into Caillou's room to find Mommy. Look who's wearing the t-shirt. <laughs> Teddy's happy! Me too! Caillou hugs his teddy bear in his teddy bear t-shirt. Caillou and his family were on their way to Uncle Felix's farm. Caillou was very excited. I can't wait to see all the farm animals. Moo! <laughs> Quack! <laughs> Uncle Felix! Caillou gave Uncle Felix a big hug. He was very happy to see him. Howdy, Caillou. Great to finally have you all down on the farm. You ready to see some animals? I can't wait! There were lots of cute, fluffy sheep in the barn. Do you know what sound a sheep makes, Caillou? Ba, ba, ba. <laughs> That's right! Uncle Felix and Caillou gave the sheep some grain to eat. That one's so small! Can I touch it? Of course, Caillou, but be careful. It's only a baby. Wow, it's so soft. Next, Caillou saw some cows in the field outside the barn. The cow's nose is wet. Where are all the horses, Uncle Felix? I want to be a cowboy! Uncle Felix walked into the field and whistled. Right away, a horse galloped up to them. This is Harry. Harry the horse! Can I ride him, please? Caillou had never ridden a horse before. He jumped around pretending to be a horse. Yay! <laughs> sure you can, buddy. Perched safely on the horse, Caillou felt like a cowboy as Uncle Felix led him and Harry around the field. Yeehaw! Caillou galloped up to the barn. He was still having fun pretending to be a horse. That was such a fun ride! I really like Harry the horse! Caillou heard a funny noise. He wasn't sure what it was. What was that? A mommy pig! Look at all the babies! The pigs were bathing in the mud. Caillou went in to have a closer look. Baby pigs are called piglets. This is so much fun! As Caillou watched, Uncle Felix drove his red tractor. He was sad that he wasn't allowed to try. Why can't I drive the tractor, Mommy? Only grown-up farmers like Uncle Felix can drive tractors, Caillou. Mommy had an idea to cheer Caillou up. She pulled his favorite red tractor out of her handbag and handed it to him. Here you go, Caillou. It looks just like Uncle Felix's. Wow, your tractor looks just like mine. You'll be a farmer in no time. Yippee! In the barnyard, Caillou saw some chickens. He tried to catch them. Caillou liked watching the chickens. They pecked at the ground with their pointy beaks. One of them swallowed a worm. Yuck! Want to check the hen house, Caillou? Maybe the hen laid some eggs. Wow, Caillou, excellent job. You're a great farmer. Caillou had lots of fun at the farm with Uncle Felix. He couldn't wait to come back and see all his animal friends again. Caillou was spending a rainy day at Grandma's. He drove his mini car around the coffee table. Vroom, vroom. Beep, 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 beep. Caillou knocked a big book off the table. It fell open on the floor. Caillou was curious about the pictures in the book. He sat down to take a look. I can see you found my photo album. Who's that, Grandma?
Grandma? That's your grandpa and me when we were young. Caillou looked at the photo again. <laughs> That's not you and Grandpa. Oh, this picture was taken a long time ago. Your grandpa and I used to dance a lot. Caillou turned the page and something fell out of the album. Oh, it's our blue ribbon. The night that picture was taken, there was a big dance contest. And this is the ribbon your grandpa and I won. Wow! First prize! Do you want me to show you how to dance? Yes! I can win first prize, too! Grandma puts on some music. This was one of our favorite songs. Caillou hadn't heard music like this before, but he liked the quick rhythm. Look, Grandma, I'm dancing. Caillou <laughs> hopped from one foot to the other. That's good, Caillou. Here, take my hands. Caillou loved dancing with Grandma. He was having a lot of fun. All you have to do is listen to the music. Grandma showed Caillou some complicated steps. Caillou tried to follow and stumbled. Caillou jiggled his hips from side to side. I think you just made up a new dance. And for being such a good dancer, you win first prize. Grandma pinned the blue ribbon onto Caillou's shirt. Hi, you two. It looks like someone's been getting dance lessons. Grandma showed me how. Caillou started to dance for Grandpa. That's great! Grandpa took Caillou by the hands and they started to dance together. Grandma watched as her two men danced around the room. Just then the doorbell rang and Caillou ran off to answer it. It's Mommy! Look, I got first prize for dancing! He then showed everyone a little dance he had learned. Everyone gathered in the living room for a snack. Mommy, did you know that Grandma and Grandpa used to dance a lot? And they won a ribbon for first prize for dancing. Really? Yes, and Grandma and Grandpa are really good dancers. Grandma showed me their special dance. Grandpa had an idea, and he put the music on again. <laughs> may I have this dance, miss? You may, sir. Together they showed everyone the dance that had won them first prize all those years ago. Every morning, Caillou watched for the big yellow school bus that drove down his street. He always saw lots of children waiting for it. Caillou's friend Sarah hopped onto the bus and took a seat. She saw Caillou sitting by the window. What's wrong, Caillou? I really, really, really want to go on the big yellow school bus. When can I go on the bus like all the other big kids? Not long. Only one more birthday and you'll be old enough. That's such a long time. I want to go on the bus now. Here's an idea. Why don't we go and talk to the bus driver tomorrow morning? If you ask nicely, the driver might let you ride the bus. Caillou was still a little sad, but at least he'd get to see the bus up close. The next morning, Caillou and Daddy were waiting for the school bus. Here it comes! The bus driver pulled up and opened the door. 
Good morning, young man. What's your name? Caillou stood behind Daddy. He was a bit shy. This is Caillou. He'll be going to school next year. Really? That means you'll be joining my bus. What is your name? Well, they call me Mr. Billy, the bus driver. I really, really, really want to go on the bus. I can't take you on the bus ride today because the bus is full. But you and your daddy can join me tomorrow. How does that sound? Yay! I can't wait! The next morning, Caillou was so excited about the bus ride, he couldn't stop thinking about it. I heard someone is going on a bus ride today. I'm so excited, Mommy! Bus! Beep! Beep! I want to make something special for Mr. Billy, the bus driver, to thank him. Maybe you should draw him something. Caillou thought that was a great idea. He picked up his colored pencils and a piece of paper. That's me driving the school bus. What a wonderful drawing, Caillou. When breakfast was done, Caillou and Daddy met Sarah at the bus stop. Are you going on the school bus, Caillou? Caillou nodded proudly. He felt like a big boy. The bus pulled up in front of them and Mr. Billy opened the door. Jump on, Caillou. We can't be late for our route. Caillou climbed onto the bus with his daddy. Caillou and Daddy sat right behind Mr. Billy on the bus. Caillou felt like the bus driver, too. Caillou waved at each boy and girl that came onto the bus. Riding the big yellow school bus was lots of fun. Stop, start, stop, start. The bus picked up more and more children. Mr. Billy drove them all to the school. At the school, the children got off, all except Caillou. Mr. Billy, I drew you something. Wow, what a great drawing. Is that you driving the bus? Caillou nodded. He was very proud of his drawing. Wonderful. I'm going to put it up right here for everyone to see. Time to head home. Caillou didn't want his ride on the school bus to end. He was having so much fun. But when he saw Mommy and Rosie waiting for him, Caillou was glad to be home. Did you see me, Mommy? I sure did. Did you remember to thank Mr. Billy? Thank you, Mr. Billy. I had so much fun today. Me too, Caillou. Thanks for joining me today. I have something special to give you as well. Mr. Billy handed Caillou a little yellow school bus toy. Now you have your own little yellow bus that you can drive any day you want. Whoa! I love it! Thank you, Mr. Billy! Caillou waved to the bus as it pulled away. Thanks for the ride, Mr. Billy! See you soon! Caillou couldn't wait to be older so he could get on the school bus every day. Caillou had to get up early today to go somewhere very special. Wake up, Caillou. It's time to go on an amazing adventure. What kind of adventure, Daddy? It's a surprise. What kind of surprise? I can't give away the surprise, Caillou, but it's going to be splashing. Splashing? Caillou heard Grandpa arriving downstairs and couldn't wait to give him a big hug. Grandpa, why are you wearing that funny hat? It's my very special lucky hat, Caillou. Whenever I wear it, it brings me good luck. What makes it lucky? Ah, uh, you'll have to wait and see, Caillou. Caillou had no idea what Grandpa's silly hat was for, but he couldn't wait to find out. Are those fish? Wow! We're going fishing! And you can't go fishing without your very own lucky hat. Caillou was so excited. He felt like a real fisherman. I'm ready. Let's go! Well, hold on now. First, we'll need to buy some food for the fish. 
Caillou and Grandpa went into a store by the lake called a bait store. It was full of worms and insects. You can buy bugs, Grandpa? Fish love to eat bugs. They go on the fishing line and the fish will swim right over to us. Daddy came back with a bucket full of wiggly worms. Caillou was very surprised. Ew! Worms? Fish love to eat earthworms. It's like peanut butter and jelly to them. <laughs> the fishermen waited patiently to catch some fish, but Caillou had a hard time staying awake. It was still very early in the morning. When are the fish going to come and eat? Aren't they hungry? Shh! We have to be very quiet. If we make any noise, we'll scare the fish away. Caillou tried his best to be quiet. He heard water flowing and the whir of a fishing reel from the fisherman next to them. Look over there! That man caught a fish! Why did he throw the fish back in the water, Daddy? That fish was too small. It wasn't ready to be caught yet. He threw it back so it can grow bigger first. Caillou was getting tired of waiting and having to stay still. Why haven't we caught anything yet, Daddy? Where are all the fish? When you go fishing, you have to be very patient, like Grandpa. He has a lot of experience. Caillou and Daddy looked at Grandpa. He had fallen asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't we take a break, too? Daddy and Caillou went to see the fishing boats. The fishermen were unloading big crates of fish. What are the fishermen going to do with all those fish? They'll sell them to the grocery store, then people buy them to eat. Caillou really wanted to take a fish home. If we catch a fish, we could have it for dinner. Can we try again? Sure we can, Caillou. Caillou was very determined to catch a fish now. He stayed as still as he could and waited very patiently. You're doing a great job, Caillou. Shh, Daddy. You'll scare the fish away. Suddenly, Caillou felt a tug on his fishing line. Daddy, uh, I've got one. <laughs> Quick, reel it in. Reel it in. Caillou reeled in his line. There was a little fish wriggling on the hook, but it fell back into the water. Oh, no! But I waited and waited! Don't worry, Caillou. You'll have better luck next time. You just have to keep practicing. Caillou was happy that he had gone fishing, even if he hadn't caught anything to bring home. All this fresh air has made me hungry. But we still didn't catch anything. Grandpa had an idea. I know where there are always lots of fish. There's my little fisherman. Wow, that's such a big fish, Caillou. Well done. Where did you catch it? Caillou <laughs> couldn't stop laughing. <laughs> we caught it at the fish store. <laughs> <laughs> it was a bright and sunny day, and Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou on a mystery drive. He was excited to find out where they were going. Where are Mommy? You'll find out soon, Caillou. But I want to know now. Caillou was getting bored of being in the car. It felt like they'd been driving for hours. Caillou looked around everywhere, but there was nothing nearby at all. There's nothing here. Where are all the buildings? <laughs> this is a national park, Caillou. There aren't any buildings. Just miles and miles of nature and fresh air. So what are we going to do here? We're going to have a... Picnic! Caillou thought a picnic was a great <laughs> idea. He was so hungry. When the picnic was over, Caillou had so much energy, he couldn't sit still. 
Can we go exploring now? I want to find a lion or a tiger. <laughs> <laughs> there aren't any of those here, I'm afraid, Caillou. But there are lots of squirrels and rabbits. And now there's a bear, too! Teddy! Caillou didn't really like walking through the woods that much. He thought it was a bit boring. Excuse me. Caillou turned around and saw a strangely dressed man in a big hat catching up to them. Hi, I'm Bob, one of the park rangers. I think you might have dropped this little guy. Caillou was confused. Why was the man carrying his trash? No, it's empty, so I don't need it anymore. <laughs> you shouldn't just drop things when you're done with them. You should always make sure to put them in a trash can. But why? Well, if everyone dropped their trash all the time, the park would be really messy, and some of the animals might mistake it for food and hurt themselves by trying to eat it. Caillou didn't like the sound of that. He didn't want any animals to hurt themselves. Oh, no! I'll make sure to put it in a trash can later. That sounds like a good idea. Even better, you could recycle them. What's recycling? It's when we reuse things to make new things. Kind of like that bottle. Hmm. Daddy, can Park Ranger Bob come for a walk with us? Sure he can. Caillou wanted to know more about why recycling was important. What kind of things can you recycle, Bob? Well, you can recycle cans, cardboard, paper, glass, and plastic. But you must always remember not to put them all in one trash can. Then what happens? When you recycle something, it gets broken down and made into new things. Oh, like a circle. It goes round and round. Exactly. Well done, kiddo. After a long walk, Caillou and his family were all ready to go home. Thanks for teaching me all about recycling. My pleasure, Caillou. Here, I have something for you. One for you, and one for Rosie. Wow! Thank you! <laughs> Ta-da! <laughs> I'm Park Ranger Caillou! <laughs> Bye, Park Ranger Bob! Wait! We have to keep the park clean. Caillou had loved exploring nature today. He couldn't wait to be Park Ranger Caillou again. Caillou and his family were on their way to pick up a pumpkin for Thanksgiving. Caillou was very excited. He loved pumpkin pie. I can't wait to choose a pumpkin. I'm going to pick the biggest one. Pumpkin! Well, we'll have to see what they have. Let's go! How do you know which pumpkin is the best, Daddy? Well, the more orange the pumpkin, the better the taste of the pie. Okay, I'm gonna look for the biggest and most orange pumpkin. After looking very hard, Caillou was able to find the best looking pumpkin in the patch. Did you find one yet, Caillou? Look, Daddy! This pumpkin is perfect! Well done, Caillou! Rosie found one, too. They'll make the tastiest pumpkin pies. Pumpkin! After everyone had picked out their pumpkin, it was time to go home and start cooking their Thanksgiving dinner. Can I carry my pumpkin, please? It's very heavy, Caillou. Are you sure you'll be able to? It's okay. I can do it. My pumpkin! <laughs> 
while mommy was cooking dinner, Caillou tried to cheer himself up by drawing turkeys, but it wasn't working. Everything okay, Caillou? I'm really sad about my pumpkin. It was the biggest and most orange one ever, and now it's ruined. Cheer up, Caillou. Why don't you come and help us fill the cornucopia? Cornucopia? What is that, Daddy? It's a big horn that we fill up at Thanksgiving to show all the food that we have to be thankful for. Oh, okay. Caillou went to help Daddy and Rosie fill the cornucopia, but he was still very upset about his pumpkin. Caillou was enjoying putting little pumpkins inside the cornucopia, but they reminded him of his pumpkin. I really miss my pumpkin. Mine was so much bigger and more orange than these. We'll get you another pumpkin next year. But I don't want to wait till next Thanksgiving. Is everyone ready for dinner? I guess so. The Thanksgiving feast looked absolutely delicious and everybody enjoyed it. But Caillou was still sad. What are you thankful for this Thanksgiving, Rosie? Gilbert! What about you, Caillou? I don't know, Mommy. What about all this great food? Well, it sure was yummy. What about your toys? I do have some pretty cool toys. As Caillou remembered all of the great things he had, he felt less and less upset about his pumpkin. I'm thankful for Mommy, Daddy, and Rosie, too! And what about delicious pumpkin pie? Me and Rosie made this from her pumpkin. She wanted to make sure you still had some pie this year. Thanks, Mommy! Thanks, Rosie! I'm very thankful for pie. Pumpkin! Caillou was thrilled that he still got some delicious pumpkin pie, even if it wasn't from his own pumpkin. I just love Thanksgiving! Caillou's family was on their way to buy groceries, but Daddy drove right past the grocery store. Caillou was confused. Daddy, you missed the store! We're not going to the store today, Caillou. We're going to go somewhere called a farmer's market. What's a farmer's market, Daddy? It's a place where farmers bring all the things that they grow. Can we buy food there? Yes, lots and lots of food, Caillou. When they arrived, Caillou saw the farmer's market was very different from the grocery store. All of the food was placed on tables with a farmer behind each stall. Where did all this food come from, Daddy? The farmers grow the food at their farms and bring them straight here. It's very fresh. Caillou looked for bananas, but he couldn't see them anywhere. Mommy, where are the bananas? Well, Caillou, all of this food is grown nearby, but bananas only come from very far away. Bananas don't grow here? No, the bananas come from so far away that they need a plane to get all the way to the grocery store. Caillou liked thinking about bananas flying in a plane. <laughs> then, Caillou remembered something. Strawberries can grow close to here. I've seen Grandma grow them in her garden. That's right, Caillou. But I don't see any strawberries. That's because it's spring. You can't eat strawberries until they're ripe, and they won't be ready until the summertime. There were more than just fruits and vegetables at the farmer's market. They walked past a cheese stand with lots of smelly cheeses. Caillou tried some that was made from goat's milk instead of cow's milk. He thought it tasted funny. Ugh. If there's goat's milk, that must mean there's goats nearby too! I think there's one right over there, Caillou. Caillou had never been this close to a goat before. The farmer even let him feed the goat straight from his hand. <gasps> Is that lady a farmer too? Her hat looks silly. She's a different kind of farmer. 
she raises bees and sells their honey. That hat stops her from getting stung by the bees. Caillou tried some of the honey on a stick. It was delicious. The farmer was so nice, she let Caillou try on her hat. How do I look, Rosie? <laughs> Funny! At another table, Caillou saw some long, skinny vegetables. Mommy, what are those? Those are asparagus. It's a vegetable. Asparagus. <laughs> That's a funny name. <laughs> Caillou liked the word so much, he said it over and over. Asparagus. Why don't we buy some? I have a wonderful recipe for asparagus soup. But I need one more vegetable, Caillou. Can you help me? What about those carrots? Ew! They're all covered in mud! That's because they have been pulled straight from the ground this morning, Caillou. Fresh from the farm. At home, Caillou washed the vegetables while Mommy cut them up. Then, they put all the ingredients they had bought in the blender. Would you like to push the button, Caillou? Yes, please! At supper time, everyone had a bowl of the soup. Caillou had a taste, but he wasn't sure if he liked it. What do you think, Caillou? It's not as good as spaghetti, but it really was fun choosing all the vegetables. Well, you're going to have to finish your dinner if you want some dessert. Mommy brought out bowls of ice cream drizzled with the honey from the market. Caillou thought it was the best thing he'd ever tasted. Can we go back to the farmer's market again soon? Yes, Caillou. The next one is in the summer, so we can see what's in season then. Maybe they will have some strawberries! It was summer vacation. Caillou and his family were going to the beach. Caillou couldn't wait to see what the ocean was like. Are we there yet? Almost, Caillou. When you can see the ocean, you know we are nearly there. I want to go swimming and build the biggest sandcastle ever! Don't forget about the ice cream. Ice cream was Caillou's favorite. He couldn't wait to taste all the different flavors. Ooh, yummy! Yummy! <laughs> <laughs> there it is! I can see the ocean! When they finally arrived, Caillou jumped straight out of the car. He ran down to the beach. It's hot on my toes! Don't worry, Caillou. It's just the heat from the sun warming up the sand. It won't hurt you. Caillou was surprised that the sand was hot, but he enjoyed wiggling his toes in it. Wow! The ocean! The ocean went on forever. It was the biggest thing Caillou had ever seen. Caillou, it's very sunny, and that means we need to put on lots of sunscreen and wear your hat so you don't get burnt. Caillou <laughs> giggled and tried to get away, but Mommy held on tight. She covered him all <laughs> over with sunscreen. It tickled. <laughs> Daddy set up the umbrella, and Mommy put Rosie down in the shade. Caillou didn't want to sit around. He wanted to do something fun. Who wants to go swimming? Me! 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 Caillou took Daddy's hand. Together, they ran towards the water. Brr, the water is cold. It's all right once you get used to it. Caillou and Daddy were having lots of fun splashing about in the water. Suddenly, a big wave knocked Daddy down. <laughs> Caillou thought Daddy looked funny covered in seaweed. <laughs> then another big wave came and took Caillou by surprise. He didn't like being under the water. Don't worry, Caillou. Let's be careful to not go too deep and watch for the waves coming together, okay? <laughs> hey, you two. Time
time for lunch. Daddy and Caillou were now very hungry after dodging the waves. Caillou had a sandwich, an apple, and some lemonade for his lunch. Yummy. Caillou picked up his sandwich and took a big bite, but it was full of sand. Ugh! It's all sandy! I can't eat this! A nearby seagull swooped down and stole the sandy sandwich. Hey, come back! That's mine! Don't worry, Caillou. We can get some ice cream instead. After lunch, Daddy took Caillou to the ice cream shop. There were so many flavors, all different colors. Caillou couldn't believe his eyes. I want to try all of them. <laughs> Why don't you choose one flavor for today and then a different one next time? Okay, but how do I choose when there are so many? The friendly ice cream seller let Caillou try a few flavors to make sure he picked his favorite. Mmm, I like that one. Daddy bought four ice creams and they went back to find Mommy and Rosie. Want to show Rosie how to build a sandcastle, Caillou? Caillou was very excited and grabbed a bucket and spade. Look, Rosie, you take the bucket and go like this. Rosie giggled and clapped her hands. Sandcastles were the most fun of all. Wow, that looks great. But no castle is complete without a flag. Suddenly, Caillou felt water splashing against his feet. The ocean had moved closer, and the castle was washing away. Oh no! The waves are ruining my sandcastle! How did they get here? Because the tide makes the ocean go higher and lower, so the waves come further up the beach. The tide is coming in now, so that means it's time for us to go home, Caillou. But what about my sandcastle? Don't worry. We can come back another day, so you and Rosie can build an even bigger one. Mommy and Daddy gathered up all their things and headed for the car. I want to come back tomorrow, and the next day, and the next day. This is the best vacation ever! Caillou and his family had a great day at the beach, but he really couldn't wait for his next adventure. Caillou was playing with Gilbert. His dinosaur was tied to a long string. Gilbert was ready to pounce, tail twitching. Ready, Gilbert? Caillou tugged hard on the string. The dinosaur went flying through the air. Gilbert jumped up and pounced on the dinosaur, catching it proudly. Caillou continued to pull the string around the room. Oh no! He's still chasing me! Get him, Gilbert! Get him! <laughs> Gilbert chased him and finally pounced on the dinosaur again. You got him this time, Gilbert! Snack time, Caillou! You stay here, Gilbert! Caillou went off to have his milk and cookies that Daddy had prepared for him. Come on, Gilbert. Let's play now. Caillou looked around the room and under the cushions. Gilbert, where are you? Caillou was upset. He had told Gilbert to stay and wait for him. Daddy, Gilbert's gone, and I need him for my dinosaur game. Well, Gilbert is not here in the kitchen. 
Caillou went hunting for Gilbert. He checked in the basement and found his mummy. Hi, Caillou. What's going on? I can't find Gilbert. He was supposed to wait for me. He's probably hiding in one of the bedrooms. Let's play detectives and look for him. Yeah! Mommy and Caillou headed upstairs. A good detective needs to look for clues. What are clues? A clue is anything that will help us find Gilbert. So keep your eyes wide open. Caillou saw a piece of string on the floor in the hall. It was the string from his dinosaur game. Is this a clue, Mommy? That's a very good clue. The string was between two bedrooms, so Caillou picked one and went in to look for Gilbert. In his parents' room, Caillou looked under the bed, then under the chair, and all around the room. He's not in here, Mommy. That leaves your room, Caillou. My room! Looking around his room, Caillou did not see Gilbert. Gilbert, come here! Caillou looked under the bed and found his dinosaur. Another clue, Mommy! You are a good detective, Caillou. Caillou squeezed the dinosaur and it made a squeaky roar. Mummy and Caillou heard a quiet meow. Caillou pulled back the covers on his bed. Gilbert, I found him! Caillou pulled the sleepy cat into his arms. Today, Caillou and Grandpa were going to the park. Grandpa arrived at Caillou's house carrying a box. What's in the box, Grandpa? You'll see when we get to the park. Caillou was so curious to know what was in the box. On the bus ride to the park, Caillou played a guessing game with Grandpa in order to find out. Is it a soccer ball or a kite? I know, it's a helicopter! <laughs> no, no, no. Caillou loved to watch the boats on the pond. They're having a race! I wish we had a... Oh, wow! A sailboat! I made it myself. Do you like it? Oh, yes! Does it really sail? Soon they had the boat in the water. Caillou was very excited when Grandpa let him do the steering. That's right, Captain Caillou. Just be careful. If you turn it too fast, it'll tip over. Can we race with the other boats, Grandpa? Let's get lined up for the start. Hi, Caillou. Emma was a friend of Caillou's from play school. Hi, Emma. Are you going to race too? Yes, my boat is the red one. And that boy over there has the blue boat. I bet we win, Grandpa. Maybe we will. But remember that the most important thing is to have fun. The finish line is the other side of the pond. On your mark, get set, 
Go! My boat is faster than your boat! No, it isn't! Come on! Caillou really wanted to win, so he made his boat go a little faster. Be careful, Caillou. Not too fast. We're winning! Faster! Faster! Oh, no! Caillou's boat ran into Emma's, and both boats tipped over. Oh! That's too bad, Caillou. Better luck next time. Caillou felt bad because he had lost, and he made Emma lose, too. Sorry, Emma. Oh, that's all right. I come here with my daddy every weekend, and my boat always tips over. It tips over every week? Yeah, it's hard to keep it going straight, but it's still lots of fun. Yes, it is fun. Let's go over and congratulate the winner. Well done on winning the race! You sailed so well! Thanks. You did well, too. Thanks! See you next time! Are you disappointed that you didn't win the race? I was a little, but I liked being Captain Caillou, even if I didn't win! <laughs> Caillou and his babysitter are reading a story. But today is a very special day. Caillou, did you know it's Valentine's Day today? This is a day to celebrate love. Caillou mm. thinks about this for a moment. Celebrate love? That's right, Caillou. Caillou has an idea. Caillou decides to give a Valentine's Day present to someone he loves. I'm going to draw a pretty card with hearts. Aw, that's a nice idea. Julie gives Caillou some paper and crayons. Caillou begins to draw hearts as carefully as he can. But drawing hearts is hard, and Caillou is a bit disappointed with his picture. Oh, it's not very pretty. I can help you if you want. I like your hearts, Caillou. What do you think about adding something else to your picture? Hmm. Caillou wonders what else he could draw. Ooh. I know! Caillou draws a big round moon. And all around the moon, he draws lots of kisses in lots of different colors. Your picture is really pretty, Caillou. Caillou is very pleased with himself. Caillou goes into his bedroom and places the drawing in his room. Who is your Valentine's present for, Caillou? <laughs> it's a secret! <laughs> Caillou puts on his favorite shirt. Then he gets a red tie out of Daddy's drawer. Do I look nice with a tie? You always look nice, Caillou. <laughs> Caillou is so excited about his Valentine's Day present that he can hardly sit still.
When Mommy finally comes home, he rushes to meet her. Mommy is delighted to see her little boy looking so smart. Who's this handsome young man? Close your eyes, Mommy. Mommy shuts her eyes, and Caillou puts the Valentine's Day surprise into her hands. You can open your eyes now. <laughs> is this for me? I drew a moon because I love you as big as the moon. Oh, and I love you as big as the moon, too. Well, I love you as big as the moon and all the stars and all the planets. Caillou is sure no one could love anyone more than that. It was Halloween, and Caillou was very excited because he loved to dress up. Caillou, can you guess what Halloween costume I've made for you? Hmm, a firefighter? No, guess again. An astronaut? No, have another guess. Caillou thought very hard. What could Mommy have made him for Halloween? I know! A magical wizard! <laughs> Mommy had made him a wizard costume. She helped him put it on. <laughs> Something is missing. Daddy came in holding a funny pretend beard and a spooky looking book. Don't forget your hat and spell book. Ah, yes. Are you ready to make some magic, Caillou? Almost, Daddy. Abracadabra. Yes, Rosie. I have your clown costume ready here. Rosie saw the clown costume, and suddenly she didn't want to dress up and go out. No. You don't want to go trick-or-treating? No! Caillou is really surprised. He didn't think the clone costume was scary, but Rosie did. Maybe Rosie's scared to go out trick-or-treating. I'll stay home with her while you and Daddy go out. I'll bring back some extra candy for her. Caillou and Daddy left the house. It was dark and spooky outside. There were jack-o'-lanterns everywhere. Daddy, it's a bit scary out here. Don't worry, Caillou. I'm right here. Caillou walked closely next to Daddy. Let's go to Mr. Hinkle's house first. Caillou walked up to Mr. Hinkle's front door and Daddy waited at the foot of the stairs. Trick or treat! Hello there. It's not every day I get a visit from a magical wizard. What a nice surprise, Caillou. I hope you don't turn me into a frog. Caillou was happy <laughs> Mr. Hinkle recognized him. Thank you, Mr. Hinkle. Where's Rosie? Rosie was a bit too scared, so she stayed at home with Mommy. Well, you make sure she gets some of these sweets too, okay? Children in all kinds of costumes ran from house to house. Who was that girl dressed up as a fairy? And who was the Frankenstein monster she was talking to? Look at me, Caillou. I'm a scary <laughs> monster. And I'm a wizard. That monster is Leo. And Clementine's a fairy. Oh, my. You all look great. Look at all my treats. Clementine, Leo, and Caillou all compared their bags of candy. Wow, that's a lot. 
Caillou, Leo, and Clementine decided to go to the rest of the houses together. Trick or treat! They collected lots of treats, and soon their bags were full of goodies. It's time to go home now. Oh no, not yet! I have an idea. We can do one last trick or treat. Caillou, Clementine, and Leo walked up to the front door of Caillou's house. Trick or treat! Who do we have here? A wizard, a monster, and a fairy. Rosie was still a little frightened. Rosie, it's me! Caillou! Rosie started <laughs> giggling. She wasn't afraid of dressing up anymore. Happy Halloween!